This weekend's Eurovision Song Contest will feature flags, Ukrainian musicians and fans, but not the country's warlord. Organizers say they declined a request from President Volodymyr Zelensky to make a video address to the final of the Pan-Continental Music Competition on Saturday. He was expected to encourage the world to continue its support for Ukraine's struggle repel the Russian invasion. Tvorkai from Ukraine performs during dress rehearsals for the Eurovision Song Contest in Liverpool, UK on Wednesday, May 10, 2023. The European Broadcasting Union, a group of national public broadcasters managing Eurovision, said allowing Zelensky to attend would violate the non-political nature of the event. Zelensky's desire to address audience at Eurovision Song Contest, while made with commendable intentions, cannot be granted by European Broadcasting Union administration, as it is against rules of event. Zelensky's spokesman Sergei Nikiforov denied that he wanted the president to speak at the event, which will be watched by nearly 160 million people. The office president Ukraine did not appeal to organizers Eurovision Song Contest to offer online performance during finals or at any stage competition. The Kalush Orchestra takes stage before dress rehearsals for the grand finale of Eurovision Song Contest on Friday, May 12, 2023, in Liverpool, UK. In the 15 months since the invasion of Russia, Zelensky has addressed dozens of global meetings to promote his country's cause. He has spoken on video and several times in person with legislatures around the world and has addressed crowds at the Glastonbury Music Festival, Grammy Awards, and Berlin Film Festival. However, he was reportedly denied permission to speak at the Academy Awards in March, and Ukraine said international football's governing body, FIFA, also denied Zelensky's request to send a video message the World Cup in November 2022. A spokesperson for Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said UK government was disappointed with the decision from European Broadcasting Union, but has no plans to challenge it. Ukrainian singer Jamala sings at the final rehearsal at the National Opera in central Kiev on Friday, May 5, 2023. Jamala won Eurovision Song Contest 2016 with a song about the deportation of Crimean Tatars. The values and freedoms that President Zelensky and the Ukrainian people are fighting for are fundamental, not political, said Sunak spokesman Max Blaine. Established in 1956 to help heal a war-torn continent, Eurovision strives to keep pop and politics separate. Overtly political lyrics, signs and symbols are banned. But politics cannot be completely turned off. After Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022, it was banned from the competition. Belarus had been kicked out the previous year over its government's squeeze on the opposition. Drag acts perform in the second semi-final of the Eurovision Song Contest Thursday, the 11th of May 2023 in Liverpool, UK last year's competition was won by Ukraine.